Hey, what's up guys? So I'm out here enjoying my brand new outdoor sectional couch on our back deck that I designed and built myself. So we wanted a new couch set back here, but we were shopping and the prices are insane. So I decided to design and build my own. I also developed an over 30 page project plan that you can download if you wanna build along with me and make your own. And I highly recommend it because this thing was super fun to build and I think we're gonna enjoy this for a long, long time. So I hope you enjoy my build video on this episode of Field Treasure Designs. All right, let's do this. So welcome to my super dark garage. I guess I didn't turn the light on, but here I'm unloading all my parts. I'm using two by fours, furring strips, and cedar fence pickets. And first I went to my miter station to cut all of my two by four parts. I developed an over 30 page project plans that you can actually download and I worked off of those to cut all of my parts. I would stop and mark them and then back to cutting and then I referred back to my project plans after every cut making sure I got all of my 2x4s checked off the list. And after I cut my 2x4s I then cut all of my furring strips to length and set those aside for later. Last, I cut all of my cedar fence pickets to the right lengths. Next, I took my seat spacer supports and on seven of the eight of them, I cut a 10 degree angle on the end there. Next, I drilled pocket holes in all of the locations that I had marked on my project plans for me to drill holes in. And so I just knocked it all out in one fell swoop and got all my pocket holes drilled. Some of them I had to take to the floor because they were too tall and would hit the ceiling. Okay, now I've got all my parts cut and pocket hole drilled. And so I've laid them out and everything's ready to go. And so all I have to do now is refer back to my plans and start the assembly. First, I assembled both of my armrests, which kind of serve as each side holding up the couch. Next, I lined up my cedar fence picket side slats just to make sure that they were evened out really well and I'll attach these later. For the back corner post, I assembled three two by fours that I had cut with pocket hole screws. Next, I'm attaching the short side box back support to the armrest here on my workbench. Once I get that attached, I take it down to the floor and I'm able to rest it on the back post and attach it there as well. Back up on my workbench, I'm assembling the short side frame support. And a quick note, I'm using these awesome spacers to help me drop that seat support three quarters inch below the back and front frame supports. And so this allows the seat slats to be totally flush when I get done with the project. And here I'm attaching that non-angled cut part that's a seat support. And I ended up realizing I had to take that off so that I had room to attach the frame. I'll then put it back on here in a minute. After I got the frame finished, I took it over and put it on the ground to install it to the rest of the frame that's starting to come together. Here you can see that I had removed that seat support slot on the back there. And so after I got the frame attached to the armrest, I'm keeping it open here on the back post just to make sure the pieces fit. So before I put that back on, I am going to work on the long side of the couch. Now I'm back on my workbench with my long side armrest and I'm attaching the back box support there. And then once I get that attached and secure, I take it over, I set it down and I'm going to secure it to the back post there and get that all squared away. Now here's what it looks like. This is kind of how things are coming together. Next, I'm back on my workbench and I'm assembling the long side seat frame and I'm doing the exact same thing I did earlier. I'm dropping those middle seat supports three quarter inch lower and I get him all framed up. Then my awesome wife helped me carry the long frame over and get it into place. Once we got it fit, I then attached it just like I did the other side. 
Then I went back to the corner post and I attached the short side back support. Once that was secure, I then attached the long side to make sure it was all squared up. Then I went up and did the top part and made sure that was good to go. Next, I attached the middle corner there and then I put that support that I had taken off earlier back on. Next, I went to my miter station and I set it for 15 degrees because I need to cut the back support bottoms at that angle. Okay, now I'm assembling the short back rest frame, but I wanna make note of that this is different than what I ended up doing. So originally I designed it with the two by fours in the middle there, but after I did it all and got it done, I wanted to change it by using cedar picket slats, which I will show you how I do that later. But for now, I wanna show you the process of putting this together so you can see it. So I got it done and I took it over and this is exactly how I installed the back seat rest support there and so I get it into place and once it's fit there I'm able to then drill pilot holes and countersink holes so that I then can use my two and a half inch deck screws to screw it in now I'm going to take this off and reattach later but I wanted to show you exactly how the process went so then I went back to my workbench and I repeated the process for the longer side backrest frame as well. And again, I'm gonna put all this together. I'm gonna realize that I wanna change it and then I'm going to take them apart and have a new design that I'm gonna show you towards the end of the video. So stick with me and you'll see how I did it. And here I am putting the long side on as well. I'm doing the exact same thing. And a reminder, those 15 degree angles are on the bottom of those vertical two by fours. Yeah, this is exactly how I'm going to assemble everything. And so I wanted to give you an idea of what I'm doing here. And that way, when I update the backrest with the new style, you'll at least know kind of what I did. Next, I took all the seat slats and I sanded them really good. I spent more time than the other parts just because the seat cushions will be on these and I didn't want them to get snagged on splinters and stuff. So once I got them all sanded, I then took them over to install them. I spaced them all out real evenly. As you can see, the long side go all the way from one end to the next. And once I got them spaced out right, I just grabbed my drill and countersink bit and I drilled nice pilot holes and countersink holes so that that screw head when they go in can be nice and flush now i'm not going to fasten them until the couch is in place so then once i got the long side done i went over did the same thing on the short side and as you can see there it's a lot shorter and so once i got them spaced i did the exact same thing and now these are ready to be installed once i get the couch up on the deck Next, I went over to my table saw and I cut the one inch width cleats out of the cedar pickets for the decorative element on the side of my armrests. I then sanded all of the sides really quick so that they would be nice and smooth and so you could see the texture in all of them. I then attached the cleats on each side using my nail gun and after I got those secure, I went ahead and attached the sides. They went on really easily and I just spaced them just enough so that they looked cool. All right, so like I mentioned earlier, once I put the couch together, I realized that the back rest just didn't look good with the two by fours in the back. So I took out the middle ones, I bought more cedar fence pickets, and here I am cutting them to length, and this will be the back for the couch. And this is gonna help support the cushions as well as look good if the cushions fall down. So I got those cut to the right length, then I went to my table saw and cut the cleats down to the width, and after that, I took them to my miter saw and just cut them to the right length. Then I did the same thing I had done on the outside armrests. I attached the cleats with my nail gun, then I attached the slats, just doing one at a time and making it look nice and clean. And then once I was done with that, I was ready to move it into place. My awesome wife helped me carry the frame up to the deck and then I grabbed the backrests and I brought them up and got them in place. And by the way, I coated the entire frame and backrests with an oil-based sealer. And so I'll have the link to that product in the show notes below. Here I'm attaching the backrest just like I showed you how I did it earlier with those two and a half inch deck screws. And so I got that all nice and secure. Once that was done, I then installed all of the seat slats, got them all nice and organized, and then I just went around and screwed them in.
At the very end, I realized that I forgot to add the inside element to my armrests. And so in my plans, it calls for doing the same slat look on the inside just to kind of make the couch look nice and clean and to fill that space. And so I had to take off the backrest to get to it. So I did the exact same process with the cleats and then nailing in the slats. Then I had to reinstall the backrest. Then after I was done, I went to the other side. I knocked it out and now it looks sharp. Then I called in my awesome helpers to help me put all the cushions on for the first time. And man, this thing is looking awesome. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I hope it was helpful. Don't forget, you can download my project plans from the links in the show notes below or on my blog. And I would love it if you'd subscribe and hit that like button. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Thanks.